So I'm on with the final stage of the bed canopy. Now it's all finished and it's looking brilliant. Um, next stage is going to be to get the coral pink fabric on. Now a lot of you actually loved it, which was surprising. I thought quite a lot of people were going to go crazy with it. But I think you can sort of see that the room needs just a little bit more um, just warmth and colour to it. And hopefully this, this fabric will do that. So the plan is to see, get this attached on and we're going to pleat it from the centre. So we're going to gather the fabric um, to obviously just by scrunching it up. And then we're going to work each of the pleats coming out bit by bit. Um, don't know how it's going to work, never done this before. And there isn't really any video showing how to do it. So it's just going to be a, a trial and error thing really, just to see how it works. If it doesn't work, just take it off and start again and go from there. But I'm just going to use a staple gun just to attach it on with. Then obviously it's going to be, because it's not too high powered, because the wood is obviously quite soft. So if I do make any mistakes, I can take the staples straight out and then readjust it or just completely take it off. So it'll be a lot easier. So the plan is, I've got an elastic band, I'm just going to gather the centre up, just put that around, and then I'll attach that in the centre for now, and then at least that's giving me the gather that I need in the centre to start working the pleats outwards, and then I'll just work it around from there really. So I will crack on now, and hopefully get sorted today.
So the first idea didn't really work out. Um, trying to gather it in the centre and staple it to the outside of it, it was just far too difficult. It just wasn't working. Couldn't get the pleat to out. So um, Mum came up with a brilliant idea to create an insert to go into it and work that off. Now, all I've done is we had some chipboard left over. So just cut our template out of that, fit it in. And now we can start working on actually putting the fabric around it. So I'll still do the same thing. I'll put a screw in the center to work off and then go from there really. So I will crack on that and hopefully get it sorted. Hopefully this will work out. If not, we'll think so because
And that's the canopy almost sorted. Now it's not completely finished. Obviously there's still a couple more bits that I need to do on it. But it's just looking absolutely amazing. I'll show you in a minute, but I'll just talk you through what I had to do instead. So the idea of bunching it up in the centre and just tacking it on the outside didn't work, as you would have seen in the video. It was just too difficult and I just couldn't get the pleats sorted and just trying to staple it, it was just, it was just far too difficult to do. So Mum came up with the brilliant idea of obviously cutting a board out to recess into it. Now that's what we've got here. So we just had some chipboard left over and obviously I just cut the insert out and then it gave me a base to actually work on um, on a flat surface which was far better. So I've still done the same thing, I put a screw in the centre of it and I bunched all of the fabric up and I put an elastic band around that to hold it all and then once I've done that obviously I just worked around bit by bit by bit just stapling the pleats in. So just folding it over literally about 5-10 mil and putting a staple in and then moving on to the next one and I'll show you now. That is the canopy almost done like I said. So pleats have worked out amazing. Now we need to make the little rows in the centre, we need to make that a little bit bigger. So the fabric that we had left over, um, we're just going to put like a little running stitch in the bottom so we can pull it tight and then we can sort of gather it around to make it look like, like bigger petals coming out of it and it'll hide obviously the elastic band as well. And then the inside part around here, we're going to get some more fabric so we can line that and follow the pleats on um, and then so we'll be able to put the curtains on there as well so you won't see a lot of it and then this back part we'll have that fallen all the way down to the floor so that'll create like a, a backdrop for the bed as well but yeah it's another job again that obviously I've been putting off for quite a while because I thought it was just going to be so difficult because I've never ever done anything like this and to be honest it worked out really well obviously I'm so pleased with how it's turned out and I only got a probably what, about three, four hours to do to, to work out the solution and then to get it all done. So it wasn't too difficult to be honest. And the results like I said are amazing. Just seeing the front of it and that part, it's brilliant. So I will move on to St. Kells now. Now that's done.
So loads of little finishing jobs done. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Mm -hmm. I've seen some really exciting ones as well. So the bed canopy, it turned out brilliant, didn't it? It really, really has. Look, it does look good. It's brilliant. Yeah. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a headache at first, but... <laughs> I left it. He's <laughs> like, oh, well, we'll show you what to do. And I was like, okay, I'll leave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but we got there in the end. We did, yeah. Um, We're all brains together and it works out brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah. And chandelier, yeah. yeah, looks absolutely amazing mm -hmm. in this room. Mm -hmm. like, it's just bringing it all together yeah, now. Yeah, it's transformed it, hasn't it? Yeah, when you come in the night. I know, see what it's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we start to get the furniture in, in the salon. Yep. So we've got the mirror up. Yep. And, and again, that just changed the room again. Yeah. When yeah. you walk in, it, the room literally feels double the height, double the size again. Just yeah, has a good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It's all come together. So it's, it's just brilliant. Mm -hmm. I think the coral pink, now it's in the canopy. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is a brilliant colour. It will go in it. We just it need will. that sort of injection of colour. I think the majority of people trust you. Yeah. They, they said they're unsure we're on the colour. Yeah. Even you when you first it. told me, I just went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it, yeah, it, it, it is wonderful, it really is. Yeah, so it's not 100% finished. Obviously, we still need to get some more fabric to finish that off, but it's definitely getting there. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just need to get on with the bathroom tiles. So that'll be the yeah. next video. Getting that down, getting it done, getting it finished. Yeah. Be a good job done. Yeah, so that's it for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you got the bell click for notifications. And we will see you in the next one. We will. See you soon. Bye. 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 If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.